I'm, I'm Augie, by the way. Darby. Furby? Darby. Darby. Yeah, Sorry, I know. Darby. No, I've gotten Furby before. It's been a little bit wild. Have you found the one? No, uh, I found some losers on Match.com. I just feel like I'm failing all the time, you know? Like, is it always this hard? You go for it, and you get on that dick wagon. Mm. It is your destiny. Very upset by the phrase dick wagon. Why do you need a boyfriend right now? This isn't Jane Austen times. I'm sorry. I'm just having a small life panic. I just want to be the kind of woman who knows what she wants, and she's not afraid to go after it. You should be loved for the little derp to derp that you are. <laughs> I ran into Augie for the first time in two years. No. So he's back in New York, apparently, which I would have known if I hadn't unfollowed him, and then I wouldn't have been blindsided wearing Crocs. Ew. Haven't you ever been caught up in a moment? We slept together one time. I don't owe you anything. I decide who I sleep with and who I love. I'm proud of you. You've grown into this brave, resilient, independent woman. It feels really right, which is terrifying, but worth it in the end. He realized he was not ready to be in a relationship. Also, I got really drunk at his dad's wake. No, that is okay. I mean, I puked at Jim's cousin's bat mitzvah. This all happened in front of his ex-wife. Oh, okay, you win. <laughs> oh.